The word of God is alive and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow. And it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart. All scripture is God-breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. That the man of God might be mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth or accurately handling the word of truth. Dear brethren, professing wise, they became fools. Even as such, in today's Christendom, many men professing themselves to be wise are becoming fools. Without having the true application of doctrine, men have become really worthless stones. The nature stones which our Lord mentioned in Luke 1940, they were the stones of witnesses for Christ our Lord, our Savior. But we, the believers, can we stand as a stone which could be further used to the praise of the glory of Jehovah in the coming kingdom of Christ? How dearly our Lord could toil to those people if this man be keeping silent, then the stones will cry out. What a great warning of exhortation for us as believers in Christ. What we ought to be and we are not. At least by looking at the nature, let us, let us be consistent enough in the true nature of Christ which has created and renovated after his own image. And many men who do not know what is this battle happening around in this angelic realm have come out only for some pieces of bread or for some handful of barley. And they're exchanging the glory of Lord to a lie only for some prosperity gospel and telling we will have spiritual revival, miracles, healings, meetings. The true miracle, true healing, which anyone can experience in this earth is the renovation of his mind through the knowledge of Bible doctrine. As a man thinks, so he is at the Bible doctrine. If your thinking has been not renovated according to the thinking of Christ, then you are still prolonged to go into those things which is not at all worthy to be counted. And you are going upon for looking to those things as a temporary solution in the frustration search of your frantic of happiness. You want to exchange the truth to a lie and you want to consider this could be true, that could be true, but it cannot be true. The truth is in Jehovah Christ, our Lord. And we cannot execute this protocol plan of God until and unless you have been known what is the power of God and what is the witnesses that Lord has called for us to be unreproachable at the judgment seat of Christ so that when we have been escaping the spot on the garment of our righteousness which has been produced by the flesh. Therefore, we need to contend to that most holy faith in the, in the spirit of Lord God Almighty, the Holy One through our spirit so that we could become a living stones as an example we can find one more salt pillar after she becoming a salt pillar many people might have witnessed what she was but now we are calling for the truth for the reality of the word for the consideration of Bible doctrine and we don't have any other things than this to be learned. And we cannot waste our time thinking upon useless and worthless morality standards of Christianity preaching. Our Lord said, these stones cry out, Keros. But the 
pastor teacher has been called to herald for the word of the Lord, and that is for didaske, through didaske, through didaskelias. Therefore, dear brethren, it is your life. You think which way you want to go. We are not going to change from your negative volition to positive volition by telling you do this, you do that. It is your own free will. Whichever way you want to go, you can decide. No one is forced. No one has been compulsorily dragged. Your love, your desire. Our Lord said in the Gospel of Matthew, if they receive you in the form of a prophet, they are going to get the honor as a form of a prophet. If they receive you as a form of a teacher, they are going to get the reward as a form of a teacher. How you are going to receive that Lord. It is not that the men receive you, recognize you as a pastor teacher, so that they can have a reward of a pastor teacher. How you as a pastor teacher are receiving the true glory of Jehovah and not really diminishing even a single word, but rather proclaiming them the truth. How are you receiving that Lord makes the difference. It is no longer what you get. It is what you are doing for God that makes accountable for you now. If you receive him with utmost care, with a burning desire of passion to not to diminish even a single word and rightly divide the word of the Lord, then you're going to get that reward. If you think Bible is just like one of the religious book on this earth, it can guide you for morality, you're going to get that reward being a Christian. If you're not a Christian, take it granted, hell is reserved for you forever. Though you tell the words of Bible. It is a spiritual phenomena. An unbeliever who is spiritually dead cannot comprehend doctrine except his own logic thinking and his own mentality to court, but not to find the deep things of the spirit, the mystery doctrine of the spirit. And many men don't understand this. The only reason why they don't understand is they are failures. Failures to know what form of a manner they need to receive our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Those living, those stones might have really taken the worth of God. But every believer is a living stone in this temple. Called for the spiritual habitation to give spiritual sacrifices. Are we really giving that which is due to the glory of Lord? Or are we not? Professing wise, they became fools. Think over these issues as we shall come back and continue tomorrow. With our head bowed and eyes closed, the closing movements being dedicated to those who are here without Christ, without hope, and without eternal life. In order to telling to Lord God the Father that you believe upon Christ, that is the moment itself, you shall have this eternal truth. The eternal truth for us for very simple. Believe in the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and you shall be saved. Whereas for the believer, the great merit is to grow up in grace and knowledge of Bible doctrine. You shall learn to acquire to possess the truth, and the truth shall set you free. For the passive teacher, it is carous, Othon Lagan, herald the word in season or out of season. When the living stone can carous, you have to not just carous or preach, but you have to teach as a pastor teacher. That is your designation. And doing the work of an evangelist is what at the end of the sermon you call them to look upon Christ. To believe unto Christ in your free will, not forcing you, but rather laying out the details for you. And this is what, dear brother, you and I have to look. Kerusothon Lagan, herald the word in season or out of season, because of the diamond to my witnesses where you have been called. The diamond to my witnesses in the Trinity followed by a will in our hands. And the second time out from my witnesses are hearers. If there are no hearers, not for it besides nature, the entire angelic host will be our witnesses. But the only reality is we need to proclaim the truth. We need to teach and establish them, inculcation the truth. With the right dispensing technique of dispensations over the ice concept. So dear brethren, which way you want to go, you decide as we shall come back and continue tomorrow. 
Father, grateful privilege that you have developed me through the word. Help this pastor teach us not to worry about the softies, but to look upon thy word and thy glory. And receive each and every word that is more that is more precious than anything else on this earth, including our life. More than our life, thy word is precious, O Lord. Help us to understand these things as we grow up and as we march in thy truth. For we ask it in Christ's name, Father. Amen. <laughs>